Corn silage harvest timing is critically important on the outcomes that we get from our corn silage. So being able to look at the corn in the field and assess it along the way is critically important to make good decisions around that harvest timing and, and provide good communication with the team, with the harvesting contractors, the team on farm to get the best result we can from our crop. In this video we're going to show corn crops at different stages of maturity along the way and be able to show in the cob, in the grain and the plant what those different stages look like. We're just looking at this corn crop here today. It's a fair way off harvest. It's green, actively growing, but we're just going to have a quick look. We're going to go in at quite a few rows so that we're not grabbing off the outside, which can be different. So I'll just go and grab a cob. And we'll have a look in here. And we can see, you know, yellow. It's just all liquid no denting in the cob and no starch line so way too early so we're just having another quick look at this corn crop to see what it's doing it's uh, a couple of weeks later than the last corn crop we looked at it still looks a bit drier on the edges now but if we go in to where it's more consistent we'll grab a cob and we'll bring it out and we'll have a look in it we can see that the grain is starting to dent on the end, so it must be laying down a bit of hard starch. We break the cob open, look at the underside of the top of the cob, and we can see this colour line starting to appear is where we're looking for the milk line. And you can see this colour here. It's sort of probably about a milk line one, but all the rest down here is still you know, soft and milky. So. This is still a good couple of weeks away from harvest, maybe a fraction more depending on the year. In this corn paddock here, we can now see we're a lot closer to the point of harvest. The plant is starting to dry down. The whole plant moisture is changing. You can see that in the plant. And then if you look at the cob, you can see the husk is starting to dry off. Look back into the field, it's, we can see that dry husk. We grab one of these cobs and we open it up, break it off, have a look at again the underside of the top of the cod and you can see the milk lines move down, you know this is, would be a milk line two to three, maybe even three, but down in the bottom there we've still got liquid in the bottom of the, the grain and this is where we've got to start making decisions about you know, how much more grain fill do we go and the whole plant moisture, where does that fit in with the, being in the right moisture range, grain fill and making good silage. And we'll look at that in a little bit more detail in a second because we'll get some cobs lined up where we go from too early to harvest right through to harvest maturity and compare the difference in one spot. Right, so we've gone and grabbed some samples of different maturities out of a number of fields so we can line them all up beside each other and have a quick look. So starting at the start from when we were down the paddock, we've got a cob that's just finished pollinating. It's starting to go from small blister into yellow liquid, long way from harvest of course. Next stage we've started to get, we've got denting, but we haven't quite got a milk line. We haven't got that hard starch in the end layer yet, but that's the next stage. We come along, we can see that milk line. You can see it's there, and we've got that hard starch layer, milk line one heading towards a two, moving down. We come across a bit more as it gets more mature over time, sorry, wrong end. Looking at the top, underside of the top, you can see that milk line is down about here. And when we cut this with our knife, or break it apart, we can see where that starch has gone down to. We can see that hard starch, and that's what we're growing. And when we come along to a a bit more mature, almost full grain. You can see the milk line is a long way down. We split it open, you can see that grain is nearly full of starch. So if we go back and look at these side by side as a comparison, we can see that colour change from you know, milk line two, three, definitely a three to a four. And then we've got that you know, milk line four getting full grain. We can see there's a colour change and this is happening over 
you know, depending where you are, your crop conditions, between five, seven, ten days as we progress from stage to stage. And then, just to try and highlight that a little bit more with the actual grain, we've got the, the early one, it's just all clear liquid, nothing in it. It's dented, milk line one, we've got that starch in the end cap, so milk line two, and then we've got a three, four, and then full grain. If we're harvesting crop back here, because we think it's ready, but we've still got good whole plant moisture, more moisture than in these plants, but we've still got good moisture and we can go up to a three or four, maybe a five, get really good grain fill, we're getting a good result. We need to treat this as a grain crop, we're growing starch, it's not a grass crop, so we need to focus on grain fill and plant health. Following are the key points to remember from this video. Early planning for corn silage is critical to get the communication and harvest timing right. To maximise forage quality, corn should be harvested at the right maturity and dry matter content generally monitored by kernel milk line development. Corn should be harvested for silage when the kernels are around milk line 3 to 4. Between these stages, starch content is rising and fibre digestibility is in an optimum range with whole plant dry matter between 32% and 38%. Focus on corn maize silage as producing a grain crop to supply a high starch forage source. For more information on this topic, please visit the Dairy Australia website at www.dairyaustralia.com.au.